Hello everyone, this is Mr. Mahmood here. Today we're going to learn how to rationalize the denominator. So over here we have a question, rationalize the denominator of 10 over root 5. Give your answer in its simplest form, and it's worth about two marks. Now what does it mean by rationalizing the denominator? Well, to rationalize the denominator basically means to get rid of the third form from the denominator. Okay, so let's go ahead and write the question first, so 10 over root 5, and when rationalizing the denominator, if you multiply the root 5 by itself, which is root 5, that will leave us with just 5. And according to the equivalent fraction rules, you need to multiply the numerator by the same number as well. So on the top we have 10 root 5, and at the bottom we have square root of 5 times by square root of 5, which is square root of 25. And if you simplify square root of 25, that gives us just 5. Let's go ahead and simplify the fraction now. Divide top and bottom by 5. And that will leave us with 2 root 5. And that's the answer. It's worth 2 marks. The second question, rationalize the denominator of 6 minus root 5 times by 6 root 6 plus root 5 over root 31. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and we can expand the brackets. Okay, so let's go ahead and expand the brackets. So we can do it in a shorter way uh, using the difference of two squares because we can see there's a positive and a negative as well. So let's go ahead and do the shorter way maybe. So we have 6 squared minus square root of 5 squared over root 31. Let's simplify it. 6 squared is 36 and square root of 5 squared. The square and the root cancel out so we have just 5 over root 31. So 36 minus 5 is 31 over root 31. All we have to do is rationalize it now. Multiply top and bottom by root 31. Times by root 31, times by root 31. That will leave us with 31 root 31 over 31 again 31 and 31 cancel out so leave us that leaves us with just root 31 and that's the simplest form and it's worth three marks you can answer this question by expanding double brackets as well multiplying 6 by 6 and root 5 by 6 and root 5 and that will simplify to 36 minus 5 which is just 31 Next question, similar question. We need to show this simplest form and which simplifies to root 13. So let's use the difference of two squares again. So we have four squared minus root three squared over root 13. It's four squared is 16 minus root three squared, which is root nine and that simplifies to just 3. Or in other words, we can cancel the square and root out. That leaves us with 3 over root 13. 16 take away 3 is 13 over root 13. Let's rationalize the denominator now. Times top and bottom by root 13. That gives us root 13, well, 13 root 13 over just 13. And the 13 and 13 cancel out and that leaves us with just root 13. And that's the answer and we simplify to root 13 and that's worth two marks. I hope this video helps you. In the next uh, video we can have a look at some more complex third questions, the uh, big worded problems. Until then that's it for today and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next video.
Mr. Mahmood helping you do better in maths.